So far, our conversations about circuits have been pretty simple. But in the real world, we have situations where the electronic needs require our circuits to be more complicated. In modern electronics, we have two types of circuits, series circuits and parallel circuits. Let's start with series circuits. Series circuits are just like the ones that we've been talking about. Series circuits have a single loop. All of the components are connected end to end. Although series circuits are simpler, they can cause problems. Think about Christmas lights. When one bulb breaks, the whole strand goes out. If your house was wired in series, the power would go out every time you turned off the lights. Everything would have to constantly be on. Parallel circuits solve this problem. They involve multiple loops. Because there are multiple loops, the current can continue to travel. This is what the modern house uses. Your circuit breaker is connected to dozens of parallel loops. Calculating resistance, voltage, or current in these circuits can be a little bit more complicated, so we developed a list of rules to help us to understand it better. These rules are called Kirchhoff's Laws. In a series circuit, the voltage at each resistor has to add up to the voltage at the source, or V total is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus however many other Vs we have. The same applies to resistance. You just add them up or the resistance total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus however many R there are left. Because it's a single loop, the current has to be the same through the whole thing. Remember the water analogy? Well, it's the same electricity that's moving through that loop, right? So the current has to be the same everywhere. In a parallel circuit, things get a little bit more complicated because it's multiple loops. Because there are multiple loops, there are multiple currents but they all should add up to the current of the source. So we get this cool equation. IT equals I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus however many other loops we have. Because we're adding the currents, the voltage stays the same in each loop. Notice that that's the opposite of series circuits. Resistance though is a bit messy. The equation isn't as nice. To find the total resistance, we use this nasty formula. One over RT is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus however many other resistors we have. So it's a reciprocal equation and reciprocals are kind of gross. The nice thing being we have scientific calculators that make this a little bit easier. We just use the reciprocal or the X to the negative one button next to each of our numbers and it makes things a lot simpler. So it's not as bad as it seems. Sometimes in the real world, you might have a parallel circuit that has some series elements inside of it, or you may have a series circuit that's made up of multiple parallel loops. You have combinations of circuits. When we have these, it is possible to find all the information that we need. We just need to focus on each circuit individually to answer the questions of the whole circuit. So that's it for this video. Head over to Canvas and answer the concept questions. Tomorrow in class, be prepared to do some Kirchhoff Laws problems.